primary sclerosing cholangitis, or PSC, is it's a liver disease that uh, just basically closes all of the veins and uh, pathways in the liver so that it can't really filter out and do its job. Because uh, at nine years old, the doctors kind of told me there, there isn't really a cure, there isn't really a way to stop the progression. Uh, it's kind of just let it happen and let the disease like work its way, whether, it, wh whether it'll be 20 years, 30 years, or two years, they didn't really know. So um, at the time they told me, you know, in 10 years, so about when I was 18, I probably would need a liver transplant. Pretty much continued to live my life normally, I would say. I mean, I, had, I took medicine every day and um, would have doctor's appointments regularly and procedures and checkups and, and stuff, but I was still able to play sports. I was still able to uh, enjoy life, have friends and, you know, do things. There was just a, a different way of life for me. It wasn't until like high school, uh, about sophomore year, I started, uh, my liver started to really go downhill. I started to be sleeping a lot more. I was sleeping about 20 hours a day. I, I wasn't really going to school. But then when senior year came around in high school, it was kind of the first time we needed to actually start taking the measures of, of looking into getting a transplant. I graduated from high school, um, and the very next day I got on a plane and went to Indiana to get a liver faster. It was a really, really interesting experience, um, you know, letting things go. Uh, definitely, like, accepting death was a really interesting experience, you know, when you don't have control over it, you, you really start thinking about death and how that's, um, it's never something you have control over, uh, so it's not, not something to be afraid of. The transplant process is, is pretty interesting, it's, it's this, um, mix of you have to be healthy enough to get the transplant and survive but you have to be sick enough to actually warrant a transplant. I came from high school where it was senior year people were stressing out about getting into college you know passing their classes oh I gotta be on this test or you know that date went really really bad or I didn't I really like this person and they're not talking to me little things like that um, I learned just didn't matter. Not having a liver to having a liver was, was a very humbling experience. Uh, that you, you don't really understand all the things that an organ really does until you don't have it. Um, you know, it's the, kind of the quote, you don't know what you have until it's gone. 